preparation for plan of wart removal procedure is quite simple. Besides having a ready cryopen, I have on hand some water-based lubricant, particularly KY in this situation, some cleaning swabs, sampling of cryopen tips, gloves, corn pads of post-treatment. The patient is in a comfortable prone position. Identification of the plan of wart is done. Cleaning of the area is done prior to paring down of the lesion. This wart measures approximately 7 by 5 millimeters. I align this with a, a larger tip to make sure we cover the wart completely, namely a 10 millimeter tip. Pairing is very critical for effective treatment. We'll take a scalpel blade and pare down the hyperkeratotic tissue. Once punctate bleeders are seen, no more hyperkeratotic tissue is present. This is important to allow the cold to get down deep into the viral setting. After pairing is completed, a very thin layer of water-based lubricant is applied to increase the thermal contact. It is important to alert the patient that the procedure will start so as not to startle them. A larger tip than the lesion is cho chosen to easily cover this lesion. In this case, a 10 millimeter tip is applied with slight pressure to make good contact with the plantar wart. Contact for a full 60 seconds is made without lifting the tip up off the lesion. This will complete the freeze appropriately. The depth of this lesion is approximately two-thirds of the lesion diameter, noting the frost ring. The frozen area thaws in approximately five minutes, then turns erythematous, and potentially a blister forms. Sometimes a blister forms, sometimes it doesn't. Optionally, we apply corn pads to the surrounding skin to keep pressure off the treated lesion for the patient's trip home. This is not a necessary step, but in some situations it may be helpful. We then have the patient return in three or four weeks for a second treatment if needed.